Um, in this experiment, I'm going to show you how to investigate the effect of enzyme concentration on the rate of an enzyme-controlled reaction. Uh, the enzyme we're going to be using is actually called catalase, and you can find it in potato. So we're going to use some potato discs in order to change the enzyme concentration. We're going to assume that each disc contains the same amount of enzyme, and we're just going to change the number of discs to change the concentration of the enzyme. The substrate in this experiment is called hydrogen peroxide, and the catalase lowers the activation energy in order to change hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. What I'm going to do in this experiment is I'm going to use the same volume and concentration of hydrogen peroxide, I'm going to use a pH buffer to control pH, and I'm also going to use a water bath to control the temperature. It's very important because those things could also affect the rate of the reaction. We need to be very sure that it's the enzyme concentration that is showing the effect that we're seeing. I'm going to use 10 millilitres of 20% hydrogen peroxide, a pH buffer of 7, and the water bath will remain at room temperature throughout the experiment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a gas syringe to measure the volume of oxygen that's produced every 10 seconds for 2 minutes. From that I can plot a graph to work out the initial rate of reaction. The initial rate of reaction is very important because potentially at the start of the investigation is the only time when the substrate is not limiting the rate of the reaction. The substrate concentration of course will be going down during the reaction as the enzyme catalyzes the reaction that's going on. I'm going to stop it now. Okay, so what I've done, I've taken a core out of our potato and I'm going to cut the discs into two millimetre segments. It's very important that I've used the same core size and the same uh, diameter and width of the discs because potentially the different surface area of potato discs could affect the amount of enzyme that is actually exposed to the substrate. I'm also going to cut off the end bits where the, the skin of the potato is to make it comparable as well. In the first experiment I'm going to use 25 discs. After that I'm going to reduce the enzyme concentration by reducing the number of discs to 20, 15, 10 and 5. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is to put my substrate into the, our boiling tube and I'm going to use I said, the same volume and concentration which is 10 millilitres. each time. I'm also going to add a pH buffer. I'm going to put two millilitres of that in as well to maintain the same pH throughout the reaction. And finally I'm going to put my 25 potato discs that contain catalase into the tube. And I'm going to start a stopwatch and record the amount of oxygen that's evolved every 10 seconds. You see there the gas syringe has started to move and you might be able to see some bubbles of oxygen being produced within the tube. Okay, that's been two minutes now. You can see that the, there's been quite a lot of oxygen evolved there, which you'd expect because that's the highest concentration that we're going to be using of the catalase. I'll now have to repeat that two more times for the same concentration using the same number of discs and I will then take an average to, to improve reliability and then I will also use four more concentrations of catalase by lowering the number of discs used each time.